guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my makeup collection slash vanity tour. I know I've done one of these in the past, but I figured I would do an updated one since it's been like a year or so. And some things have changed, but others have not. But I figured I would go ahead and update it because it has been a while. Um, so I'm basically going to be showing you like everything that's in my collection and like kind of talking about like the pieces that I have and stuff like that. Um, the desk is actually from Ikea. Both pieces are. The top piece that kind of have like the Alex drawers is like separate from the desk. I actually got the Alex drawers um, separately to go on top of the desk itself because the desk itself is like a computer desk and then on the side it actually has like these little cubby things and it also has like a pull out drawer and everything so that way I have a lot more storage. Um, this is like actually becoming really small for me right now because I'm actually running out of room so I'm hoping soon enough that I will be able to get a bigger vanity um, and more storage and stuff like that like if I end up moving and stuff because right now I'm only working with a limited amount of space so things are quite tight right now um, that's why I haven't been collecting a lot recently because I'm just running out of room um, so yeah if you guys want to see what's in my makeup collection then just please keep watching I'm gonna be moving from left to right so before I go ahead and jump in I just wanted to mention it the curtain thing up here that I have that has all my lights it's actually a rod and then all these lights are strung down and also the cur like sheer curtains. Everything is from Ikea except for the lights. Uh, the lights I think I got at Party City but it was actually really easy to make. I just We just screwed the rod into the ceiling or not the ceiling, the wall and then we just uh, hung the curtains and then put like Christmas lights behind it. It was super inexpensive and I just think it like jazzes it up a little bit because my vanity was kind of just like very lifeless and I just felt like it needed more like, I don't know, like it was just kind of boring. And and, like there wasn't enough light and now I just feel like it just looks really pretty in the night like especially like if I have my lights off and like the vanities lit up I think it looks really nice um so basically we just got all that stuff from Ikea and then the lights are from Party City but I will link the uh, video that I used to do this little DIY thing down below because it actually wasn't even that hard to do it took us like maybe like 10-15 minutes so I'll link the video that I used down below in the description if you guys are interested in it but um yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in I'm gonna go from left to right Okay, so all the way to the left, I have my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and it just looks like this. Um, this was pretty pricey, but I do use this when I'm going out and stuff like that. That's why I let it sit out, because I think the packaging is really pretty, and I just love this foundation. I think it's beautiful, and yeah, so I just let him sit out, and then over here, I have this little container, and I just have some lippies in it. I have... Um, some NYX soft matte lip creams. I have some of these NARS matte lip pencil things that I got from Sephora for my birthday. I have like a mauve one and then like a red one. I have a NYX macaroon lippy and then I also have like a Fergie uh, wet n wild black lipstick. And then back here I have some lip liners. These are some e.l.f. ones and then mostly NYX and then I think I have a Jordana one hanging out back here as well. But I don't really reach in there because I've been really into the liquid to matte lipsticks. So I don't really reach in there all that often, but when I do want a lip liner, I will go in there every once in a while. Okay, so right in front of my little um, jar thing, I actually have these two little panda dudes. And I think you guys probably saw this in my last collection video. But they just kind of hang out here. One is actually made out of glass and then the other is an eraser. My boyfriend's mom got them for me like a while ago at like some festival. And I just think that they're cute and really tiny. So I let them sit up here because otherwise I feel like I would lose them. So I get to see them every day and I think that they're super cute. And yeah, so they just kind of chill there. Um, again, I don't know where they're from. And then on top of this acrylic case thing, it has three drawers. I have this melter thing, which actually has essential oils in it. And I got this at a store that's local. Um, and it was in the mall that's like near me. And I got it there. It's called Eats Me East West. I think they actually have a website, but I'm not sure if you can find the same one online. Because I know I'm probably going to get questions on it. Um, but it actually, you can put like candle melts in it. You can put essential oils in it. Um, you can basically put whatever you want in it and then like there's a light bulb and it heats up and then it melts whatever that's in there. So right now I'm burning like some rose essential oil and it smells really good and I've just been loving that recently. So then over to the right of it I just have some of my setting sprays. I have my Lush Aroma Water stuff that I use all the time. Back here I just have some Hard Candy uh, set setting spray which I love. Some Max Fix Plus which I love as well. My Kat Von D Lock and Load makeup setting spray which is like my absolute favorite. I have my Kat Von D Lock and Tattoo Foundation. 
which I also love. And then I have my Manic Panic Dream Tone stuff that I use to lighten my foundations. Okay, so now in my acrylic drawer, which I think is from Marshalls. I think I paid like $13 for it at Marshalls like a really long time ago. I know that they still carry them though. Um, every once in a while, I'll still find them there. And I kind of want to get more of them because they're so nice and like you can keep a lot of stuff in there. Um, so basically in the first one, I actually just have all my lip glosses that I used to use. And I just think that they look pretty in here. And I haven't really reached in this drawer all that often because like I said, I've been into the liquid to matte lipsticks. So I haven't really been using anything in here. But basically I have all my whitening lightning lip glosses in here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I do have quite a bit in here. And then I have my Rimmel lip gloss. I have some Revlon, a Smashbox one, a NYX butter gloss. I have a NYX matte lipstick. And then I have a Milani one. All the way in the back under there I have an Ulta lipstick. And then back here I have a Kate um, Rimmel lipstick as well, which I used to use all the time. But I just like the packaging of all these and I do kind of use them every once in a while so I do keep them out and I just like them in here and this drawer is like so packed that it's so hard to close so that's why I don't like opening it um so yeah so then going down here in the next drawer I just have all my eyeliners and I do have some fake eyelashes in there as well that have been used and need to be put away <laughs> um so I do have some of my white liners I have some NYX mostly NYX actually in here I have an LA girl glide one I have more NYX uh, Jessie's Girl, NYC, more NYX, the NYX matte liquid liner is like my absolute favorite right now, the Kat Von D tattoo liner, Maybelline stiletto, so yeah, I basically have, there's a ton of different stuff in here, um, I have my favorite gel liner in here, which is the L'Oreal lacquer liner, it's like a gel eyeliner, and basically I just use it for like my inner corners and stuff like that and like if I'm doing like my waterline and I want like everything to look really black and like that way it won't smudge and stuff this stuff is great because it's like waterproof basically and it stays on all day and like my eyes sometimes water so that's why I like it so much because it like doesn't budge and then yeah I just have a NARS little lip gloss in here that I just put in here because it didn't fit up in the top one and I just like the packaging so he just chills there so moving down to the third drawer, which is the last drawer in this little acrylic drawer thing, I just have my mascaras that I use all the time. Um, I recently did go through a ton of my mascaras because I just had so many of them and a lot of them weren't being used and a lot of them were dried up and just getting old, so I did get rid of a lot. Um, so in here I just have a Wet n Wild Mega Length. I have my L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Waterproof one or Hydro Fudge or something, I don't even know. Um, and then I have my Too Faced Better Than Sex, which I love as well. And then I have my Maybelline Falsies. I have a CoverGirl one. I have a Rimmel one as well back here. And then I also have a Wet n Wild Mega Protein one as well. So, like I said, I have these two little Alex drawers um, that are on top of my actual desk. So, in here, in the first one, all the way to the left, I have all of my high-end palettes that I absolutely love. But you guys have probably seen most of them um, because they are pretty common and every YouTuber like raves about them. So, in here, I just have my Naked 3, which I love. You guys have probably seen it a million times. Um, it's just a beautiful palette. So, it looks like that. And I just love it so much. I haven't used it in a while, actually. And then I have my Too Faced Chocolate Bar, which is very loved. And I just, it's amazing. If you don't have this palette, you need to go buy it. And then I have my two Kat Von D Shade and Light ones. This is the Eye Palette, which I recently got for Christmas. And I am literally obsessed. I can't stop using it. So I'm just going to kind of go through these quickly because I don't want to be sitting here for an hour. Um, and then I have my Lorac Unzipped Palette which is beautiful as well. Just look like that. And then I have a Lorac Pro palette. Well, this is the second one, which I actually love a lot more than the first one. I wasn't a huge fan of the first one, but this one like, just took my heart away, and I just love it so much. I use it every day. And then I have my Naked 2 palette, which you guys have seen. You guys are probably seeing this a million times. And I love this palette to death. I haven't used it in a while though. And then here is the Shade and Light uh, Contour Palette, which is like a huge favorite. Um, I don't really use it all that often actually um, because I've been really enjoying my NYX Taupe Blush. So I haven't really reached in here all that often, but when I do, I just, I love it so much. It's a great palette and if you're looking for a really good contour palette, I definitely suggest this one. And then I have my Naked Basics, which you guys have seen. And then I also have my Stilla in the Light Palette, which is an OG palette from Stilla, and it's just beautiful. I love the shades in here. I think they discontinued this, actually, because I don't think you can buy them anymore. Um, at least I don't think you can, because I tried looking for, like, 
the green one or like they had different colors of these and I don't think you can get them anymore because I tried looking for them on Sephora and I couldn't find them. And then lastly I have my BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette which is absolutely amazing and I just love this palette so much. I've been using it so much recently and it's like by far one of my favorite palettes and I just love every single shade in here. It's just she did an amazing job creating this palette and I could like talk about this palette forever but I'm not going to because we'll be sitting here for a decade. But if you don't own this palette you definitely should try and get your hands on it because I think it's only like $13 on bhcosmetics.com and it's just so beautiful and I just love the colors in here and I just I can't say, say enough good things about it. So that's everything in this little drawer here. These are just where I keep all my high end palettes. So in the middle here on top of my vanity, like on top of the shelving thing, I have my mirror which I use all the time. I have these two little Bluetooth speakers that actually light up and play music and stuff. And they have the water in them so they like they bounce up and down when you play music, but I'm not going to turn that on right now. And then behind it I have this little Smashbox box thing that I got when I bought some brushes uh, not that long ago and I thought the packaging was absolutely beautiful so I left it out and I just think it looks really pretty as decoration. So moving all the way to the right, I'm going to show you guys over here real quick. I have all my brushes on top of this box thing which you guys have seen in my last vanity tour it's just a box that I love to death and it actually I got it as a gift like my mom got me um like when she got me the iPad mini she put it in this box and I just love this box so much it's so cute and I just I can't seem to get rid of it so I just keep it here and I think my brushes look really pretty on top of it so I don't know and it kind of like evens out like my vanity I feel like it doesn't look like there's as much clutter I don't know I just I'm weird so I keep the box there and I just put my brushes on top so I just have all my brushes um, I'm not going to go through all of them but I do have a lot of real techniques I have some Sedona lace Smashbox um, Ovani uh, some eBay ones I don't even know Anastasia just a ton of random ones like eco tools just a ton of different ones if you guys want to see a like my favorite brushes video and let me know because I will definitely do that because I do have quite a few that I love and I just can't live without so I would definitely love making a video about that so behind my brushes I just have a little cup back here which actually has all my little EOS eggs as you guys can see and I don't really use them all that often so that's why they are just chilling in there because I think they look really pretty and um, yeah so they just chill because I have a ton of them and I don't know what to do with them so they just hang out back there okay so moving on over here as you can see I have more eyelashes that need to be put away and then I have some moisturizers which I use all the time these are the clinic dramatically different and then I have my Neutrogena Hydro Boost which I love and then over here I have all of my favorite um, liquid lipsticks and in the back I have ColourPop I have two LA Splash I have a liquid suede and I have two MAC lipsticks and then I have my Lunatic Labs one right here and then I have my uh, Kat Von D Lolita which I just can't live without so he just hangs out there and then over here I have my Pure Adore uh, Argon Oil which I raved about in my January favorites I think and uh, I just love this stuff and I use it all the time so I just let it sit out because it's pretty and I don't know I just use it all the time so that way I remember to use it when I'm doing my skincare routine and everything so yeah because I usually put that on right before I put on my moisturizer so he just hangs out there Okay, so moving down here in this next Alex drawer, I just have all of my random single eyeshadows. I have some quads, I have some drugstore um, palettes, and then I also have some foundations that I'm not using at the moment. So in here I have this little bin which just has a ton of single eyeshadows that I don't use all the time. So I have some Ulta, I have these MAC Studio ones, I have some Maybelline St uh, Studio ones that are like the quads. I have a NYX palette thing down there, like a trio. I have some Wet n Wild little trios, and then I think I have like some Elf, more NYX, I have like an L one as well, and then I have like a Milani one back there, and then some CoverGirl ones that like are really old that I don't use, and then I also have like a Victoria's Secret one, and then over here I just have two little brow kits from I think NYX and Elf, and I don't use them anymore because my eyebrows are like, they need to be lighter now, and those are like black, so I don't really use them. So then moving over here, I just have these little palettes. I have my MAC one, which I love. And then right here, I just have my Wet n Wild ones. I have the one in Comfort Zone. And then I also have the purple one. It's in Petal Pusher. And I got this at Five Below, actually, not that long ago for like two bucks. And it was awesome. So right here, I have a special edition one, which I don't really use that often. And this is the, uh, what is this? Walking in the Red Carpet. And I got this like a couple summers ago, I think. But it's really pretty. So they just hang out in here because I don't use them that much. And then over here I just have these two little NYX palettes. I have a smoky one and a natural one. I love the natural one. I haven't tried the smoky one yet. I have to try it because it looks beautiful. 
And then back here I have an old OG um, Kat Von D palette, which has like seen better days. I actually, this was like the first expensive palette that I ever got. It was like a Christmas present that my mom got me and you can see it has just been loved to death. And when I got it, this shadow was like really weird. Like, I don't even know, it's like a cream or something. But I love all these other shadows and sometimes I'll reach in here every now and again because this gray is really pretty. But yeah, it has seen better days and um, I just can't get rid of it because it's just sentimental, you know? So. so all that stuff just hangs out in here because I don't reach for it that often. But when I do, it is here. And then over here, I just have some foundations. I have my Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. I have a Revlon Color Stay Whipped. I have a CoverGirl 3-in-1. And then I also have a L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation. And I just don't use them that much because they're really not my color. Um, sometimes I'll bring them out in the summer. But I have a ton of foundations that I'm using at the moment. So these are just the extra ones that hang out in here because I don't really use them that much right now. So that's everything that's in this little drawer. Okay, so as I said, there is actually a pull-out drawer, so it's like a desk, and this drawer comes out, which I'm going to show you guys what's in here real quick. Okay, so in this drawer here that's like underneath the desk, this is just like what, like a regular drawer. So I do have a ton of different compartments in here to store things, um, and everything is just getting out of control in here because, I, like I said, I'm running out of room. So right here I have a little box, and all I have in here is like some sponges, like beauty blenders and stuff like that. I have like a random NARS sample in here as well. And then over here I have some eyelashes that need to be cleaned or worn again because I've only worn them a couple of times. So they just hang out in here so they don't get dirty or anything like that. And then I actually have two e.l.f. primers. I have a hydrating one and then I have a green one back here as well for like anti-redness. And everything is just so like compact in here. Um, so yeah, I have those two and I use them like all the time. That's why they chill here. And then I have my eyelash glue and then I have my Airspun Translucent Powder. And then all the way in the back I have this like powder that's from like the flower brand. That's like Drew Barrymore's brand that I got like forever ago and I just don't use it because it's way too dark for me. So then over here I just have my concealers which I have a ton of them because I'm always looking for new ones to try. So I have the Maybelline Age Rewind, I have MAC Pro Longwear, I have, uh, what is this, the CoverGirl Rice That Gorgeous, I have Maybelline Fit Me, I have NYX back here, uh, Maybelline Better Skin which I don't really like at all, uh, an e.l.f. one. A hard candy glamouflage. I have a LA Girl Pro Conceal, which is okay. I have more Maybelline Fit Me, and I have an e.l.f. primer, which I don't know why it's in here. And then I have a Rimmel Match Perfecting uh, Highlighter 3 in 1 thing over there as well. And I just have a ton of different ones in here. Um, I'm always looking for a good concealer, so if you have any to recommend, leave them in the, in the comments. And then up here, I just have my face primers. So I have my Benefit Professional, my NYX Pore Filler, I have my Maybelline Baby Skin, I have my favorite L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. And then under here, I have a Revlon Photo Ready uh, Skin Light thing, which is a little too dark for me, but I will use it in the summer. And then I have a Miracle Blur as well right there. So yeah, and then over here, in the middle little section and all these compartments are from Walmart actually and if I can find them online I will definitely link them below but I just randomly found them and then they worked out really well so in here I just have some of my favorite foundations at the moment I have my L'Oreal True Match which I love my Revlon Color Stay I have my Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup which is absolutely amazing but the only thing is, is it's too dark for me I have my L'Oreal True Match Lumi, I have uh, a Rimmel Stay Matte Mousse thing, I have a MAC Studio Sculpt one, I also have some Ready Set Gorgeous, and then I have a Maybelline BB Cream as well. Okay, so next to my foundations, in this little compartment here, I just have some random little mini ones. I have a NYX Dark Concealer, uh, Dark Silver Concealer, it's like an orange concealer. I have a mini Smashbox Photo Finishing Primer, and then I have a Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and then I literally have like four of these Lorac behind the scenes primers, like eye primers, that I just never use. And they just all hang out in here as well because they're just mini and they fit in here. I don't really reach for all this that much that much because it's just not something I reach for. And then I also have a Benefit That Gal thing that I got when I purchased, like, I don't know, something from Benefit. And then moving up, I actually have all my little like um, eyeshadow bases that I actually do use. I have this L'Oreal uh, Magic Perfecting Base, which is actually a face base, but I don't really use it all that often. It kind of hangs out in here because it doesn't fit in the other um, little storage thing over here. 
and I just kind of let it sit here. I do use this sometimes, but I don't really like it all that much. It's very thick. So then next to it, I have my MAC Pro Longwear uh, Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, and I use that all the time. It's amazing. I also like the pink curly one. And then I have my NYX eyeshadow bases. One is in like white, and then one of them is like, like a shimmery white. Um, so yeah, they just hang out there. And then in the back, I just have some little mini mascaras. I have a Too Faced Better Than Sex, a Makeup Forever one, a Smashbox one. And then I have a Benefit They're Real back there. And I like to use these when I travel. And sometimes I actually like the mini ones better than the full size, if that makes any sense. I don't know why. They're just easier to use, and I feel like the formula is better. I don't know. I might be crazy, but... I don't know they just work better and then I have my Anastasia dip brow which I've been loving this is the color taupe and I just love it a lot because my hair is a different color now and then I have my old NYX Tame and Frame um, pomade and this was in black so I do use this sometimes because it's actually not that pigmented so sometimes I'll use it to do like the tails of my brow um, but only sometimes so I do keep it out and then moving down here this is like the rest like this is the other half of the drawer i'm going to show you guys so in this little cubby thing i have some random little eyeshadows like some eyeshadows that i kind of reach for on the daily so i have a wet and wild one that's like a nice base to cover um your like uh what's it called like your primer like your eyeshadow primer this is like a really good base and then i have a elf high definition under setting powder thing which is amazing i love this stuff but i keep it in here because it's very tiny and then i have a bare minerals original thing that i never use i don't know why it's in here i think i got it as a sample from sephora and then i have a nyx um eyeshadow this is like a black eyeshadow and then i have a white one i have a stilla one um and it's just amazing it's like an amazing transition color it's in the color puppy and i think i've raved about it before but it's just a beautiful transition color so i use that a lot and then i just have a random um brown eyeshadow that I use for my brows sometimes and I think I got it at like um, a random beauty store near me. So then above that I just have all my highlighters up here which I definitely need to expand my highlighter collection. I have some e.l.f. ones. This is the e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic. It's amazing as a highlight. It's beautiful. I love the e.l.f. Baked highlighters. This is a baked highlighter in um, Moonlight Pearl. I love this so much as you can see it's gotten a lot of love. And then this is just a random eyeshadow that I got like not that long ago. Um, and I use it as a highlight sometimes because it's just like a pure white, really pretty um, highlight actually. I don't really use it for eyeshadow, but like when I want to highlight and it's just so pretty and glowy and very pigmented. So you have to be careful, but it's beautiful for the top. It's beautiful for the top of your cheekbones. So I keep that in there because sometimes I do use it. And then I have my Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I have my Too Faced Candlelight Glow, which is absolutely beautiful. I love this so much. And then I have my NYX Illuminator in Ritualistic. And then I have two big Wet n Wild things back here. This is like a Fergie highlighter. It's like a pinkish highlighter. And then I have a Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush and Bronzer. That was like limited edition. But they're too big to get out. So I just kind of let them sit back there. And then next to my highlighters, I obviously have my bronzers. Which I actually don't have a lot because I'm so fair skinned that it's hard for me to find good bronzers and stuff like that. So all the way in the back, I have an e.l.f. one that I, I think I got when I did the $20 makeup challenge. So that just hangs out back there. And then I have a shimmery rimmel one that I don't use all that often. I have an NYC Smooth Skin and Sunny. I have my Hula Bronzer, which I do really like sometimes. And then I have my NYX HD Blush and Taupe, which is actually hit pan on. I need to get another one. And then this is an OG NYX Blush and Taupe, which has been through the ringer. It's like taped because the lid like got broken and I had to tape it back on. Um, but I love this so much. It's like the beautiful, it's like such a beautiful color to contour with if you're very fair skinned. And it's just beautiful. I love it so much. And then I have my Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil. And then I also have an e.l.f. little eyeshadow in here, and it's in Pebble. And it's a very pretty contour color. Like, if you really want to go ham on the contour, it's very ashy, and I just think it's very beautiful. It is very pigmented, so be careful if you do end up getting it because it is extremely pigmented. So just have a light hand with it, but if you want to deepen up your contour, this is beautiful. And I just use this, um, like, all the time, so I let it sit out, and I just love it. So then next to my bronzers, I have some of my like setting powders and things like that. So I just have some Maybelline Fit Me powders back here. I have an Ulta one back here. This is like a double duty foundation powder thing. And then I have a CoverGirl one. I have a Rimmel Stay Matte. 
I have a NYX HD finishing powder in banana. I have my dead white face powder, which I rave about. It's amazing. Uh, Manic Panic makes actually like a really good one as well. And then I have my MAC Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder. I actually have a L'Oreal True Match Powder, a super blendable powder thing in here as well. And then I have my favorite NYX HD Studio Finishing Translucent Powder. This is amazing. It's just like the Makeup Forever one. I love it so much. Okay, so then over here, all the way to the left, this is where I keep all of my blushes. I don't really, I'm not really a big blush person because I do have very, like, red skin sometimes. So sometimes it's hard for me to wear blush because my skin's already red as it is. So I don't really like to enhance it. Um, but when I do want to wear blush, I do have a few of my favorites in here. So from the back, I just have this e.l.f. Contouring Blush um, Bronzing Cream. And then I also have some Wet n Wild blushes back there as well. I have, like, a random e.l.f. one that I never use. And then I have a, another Wet n Wild one, I think. And then I have a uh, Wet n Wild coverall powder that I don't really use that much. And then I have two e.l.f. Uh, blushes, which are really pretty. One is like super hot pink, but it doesn't come out like that. And then I have like this really pretty one that I've been loving recently. It's in Mellow Mauve. It's just a really pretty like dusty like rose color. It's just really pretty and I think it looks beautiful on fair skin. So I've been really enjoying that one. And then I have my two NYX uh, blushes, baked blushes in here as well. And then I have a Milani baked blush in Illuminoso that everyone raves about. And then I have a Jordana blush, which is in, I think, what is this in? Rose Silk. It's really pretty. It's like a mauve blush, and I really like that as well. So that is everything in this little drawer over here. Um, this is where I keep most of my stuff, and it's just very cluttered. Um, again, I am hoping to get, like, a whole new organization set up soon once I do have you know more space and stuff because I am working with a limited space in here because we do have a very small room so hopefully when we get an apartment or something like that I will definitely have more storage and that way I will be able to collect more stuff okay so like I said I actually have these little cubbies underneath like on my desk and it just goes down and I have two cubbies which is where I keep some extra storage as well. So on top of my little drawers here I just have some cosmetic wedges that I use when I'm baking and then I also have in here I have in my top drawer I have all my glitters and stuff like that when I use them for like tutorials and stuff so I have a lot of craft glitter in here but they are very finely milled so they don't really hurt my eyes or anything like that so when you buy craft glitter and you're using them for your eyes you definitely want to get like fine glitter unless you're going to really use like a nice glue to put, like put down like the heavy glitter because this stuff can damage your eyes and really cut up your eyes if you if you have like really thick glitter and stuff so make sure when you buy glitter and stuff that's from the craft store it's very finely milled um you can also like you know if you're gluing them to your eyes and stuff like that if you're gluing like big glitter chunks to your eyes that's different but if you're going to loosely put it on just be definitely be careful because if they get in your eye it can actually cut your eyes so yeah just forewarning about that <laughs> um and then i actually have my nyx pearl um thing my roll on shimmer thing i think it's in uh platinum it's just really pretty i love this for the inner corners i have a sharpener back here i have some random bh cosmetic glitter i have a elf glitter back there that i never use i have this random um little thing here which i actually tried to make a pressed eyeshadow with and this was actually a nyx pearl mania thing that i used and it didn't work out too well so it just sits in this little pot and it gets everywhere so yeah so um and then i just have this little wet and wild thing here and then i have my nyx jumbo pencils which i love for tutorials i have some nail clippers to cut eyelashes and then i have more nyx pearl manias in here as well which are beautiful i have one in white and then i have one in gold Okay, so then next, in the next drawer, I just have a clusterfuck. This is just all of the stuff that I'm not using at the moment. Um, it's just a ton of stuff that I really haven't been reaching for, and I just don't want it to take up space in other areas that I like to keep my good makeup and stuff like that, if that makes any sense. Like, I like to keep my space open for the stuff that I'm using. So this is just kind of like my little junk drawer of stuff that I'm not using at the moment, like some random lipsticks are in here, I have some e.l.f. stuff. And some, some, some stuff I plan on giving away to like my mom and some family and stuff like that and friends. So I have like a ton of lip glosses, lipsticks, like a lot of NYX stuff. Um, and sometimes I do reach in here when I'm doing tutorials. I have some random colored eyeliner. It's just random stuff in here that I'm not really digging at the moment. I have some old like lipsticks that I don't really care about. 
um, just random stuff is in here. I'm not going to go through everything because, you know, we'll be sitting here forever. But there's just a ton of different eyeliners and lipstick and lip gloss and all that stuff. So that just hangs out in here because it's like my little junk drawer. And it's just stuff that I'm not using at the moment. So then down here I have all my colored contacts. A lot of these cases are actually empty because... I actually am like running low on contacts, but I do have a few colored contacts, which I think I'm going to be doing a video on, actually. I thought about doing a video of my colored contacts collection. Um, I plan on getting more, and then back there I just have a spare pair of glasses. Those are my Ray-Bans. So they just hang out in here because I like to keep everything organized. And then down here I have lashes. I have lashes literally all out the house, like just everywhere. Um, I literally hoard eyelashes and it's a really bad habit. I have a lot of clean color ones and Kara ones. I have some red cherry. I'm not going to go through all of them because we'll be sitting here for another decade. Um, but I did get most of them from uh, shopmissay.com and they're amazing because you can get all of them for a dollar and I got literally like so many of them and I only spent like 30 bucks and I got like 30 pairs of eyelashes so it was pretty bomb. So I definitely recommend that site. I will link it down below. So then down here in the last drawer I just have random shit. This is just like another little junk drawer. I have an eyelash curler, some duo eyelash glue which I use for like glitter and stuff like that. I have another nail clipper. Um, I have Q-tips for like mistakes and stuff. I have scab blood for when I'm doing like FX stuff. Um, and I just don't want it to get messy or anything so I keep it in here so that way it doesn't like get all nasty and stuff and like it doesn't get lost because it's a tiny little drawer. I have some random eyelashes. I have a spoolie. I have some tape. Just random stuff in here. Just, you know, your ordinary bullshit. Okay, so off to the side here, I'm going to start all the way to the right. I have this little book of brushes, which actually came with all my Ovani brushes, which I was going to do a review on, but I ended up not doing one. But I did get a order of Ovani brushes, and they're kind of like dupes for the Sigma ones. So I just have a ton of extra brushes in here that I'm not using, um, some brushes that I need to give away, things like that. So they just hang out in here, and I love using this book for when I'm traveling or when I'm doing clients and stuff like that. And then over here, I have my two BH Cosmetics palettes, and... And they're just too big to fit in my other little drawer so I keep them over here so this is the 88 color palette matte eyeshadow palette and this is really pretty I like using this for tutorials so it just has a different like a ton of different colors in it and it's just like everything's really pigmented I've never had an issue with it or anything like that and it's just great when I'm doing you know different kinds of makeup looks and I think everyone should like you know own a colorful palette because you never know when you're gonna want to spice up a look so I just keep it out to the side in case I ever want to do something fun so yeah, that just hangs out there. And then next to it, I have my six color palette contour and blush palette, which you guys have seen a million times. I've used this mostly on other people because it's easier to use on other people. And this one actually broke. I think I dropped it not that long ago and it broke and, you know... It was really sad, but it's okay because most of it survived. And then in here I just have some blushes. I have like a little like fat pow powder foundation thing. And then I have a contour shade, which is looks really dark, but it's actually not. Um, so I use this when I'm doing other people's makeup because, you know, there's different shades in here and there's different blush options. Um, I wouldn't really recommend this palette just because you don't really get a lot of contour shades. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's good for the price point, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't really reach for it all that often. But when I do other people's makeup, I will bring it just in case I end up needing it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And it just hangs out to the side in case I ever want to use it. Okay, so right here I have a huge stack of eyelashes. These are all eyelashes. Like, I'm not even kidding you. These are all from mostly Shop Miss A and just some Red Cherry ones. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I do have some Red Cherry 199s. I have some Clean Color 118s. I have um, some Kara eyelashes. I'm not going to I don't want to go through all of them, but um, I have a lot of the six. Fives from Kara. Those are really pretty. Those are another pair. The only problem with these is that they're like hard to store. And then I have some number 28s, which I don't really like that much. And then I have another pair of 605s, 415s, 412s, which are really pretty. More 415s, which are really pretty. 205s, which I don't really like. Um, number fives are really, really pretty. I like them a lot. I have two of those. And then I have another number 08 or 880. <laughs> and then I have a number 62. And then I have a number 42 again, I think. So yeah, they just hang out here because I haven't really used them yet. So they're just nice to have. And I just have a variety of different lashes if I'm, you know, in the mood to try out different ones. 
So then behind those stack of eyelashes, I actually have more eyelashes. These are from eBay. They come in like the 10 pack from China. And these I got like forever ago and I've just had them forever. These are just like some really like little spiky ones. And I like to use these like some days, but sometimes I don't. They're not the best quality. Um, and then I have some more. These are like wispy ones. I sometimes use them like I'll cut them up and put them on the corners of my eyes and stuff. Um, they're just nice to have and like they're only a dollar and you get like 10 of them. So I mean really you can't beat it. And then I have another pack which I don't ever use because these ones kind of suck. They're kind of boring and kind of ugly. I don't really like them that much but I don't know. Sometimes I'll use them. So they just hang out in the back if I ever want to use them. Okay so down here is just like another storage um, little cubby thing. I have a lot of little makeup bags and stuff. In that pink bag down there I have some FX stuff like fake blood, um, latex and stuff like that. So I just keep it in there that way it's organized that way it's not like all over the place and then all the way in the back I have a brush holder thingamajig and then I have two backup Pureology shampoo and conditioner I have a L'Oreal little moisturizer back here I also have my Mario Badescu um, setting spray which I did a DIY on I have some brush cleaner I also have my primer water which I did a DIY on and then I have my contact solution stuff so that's everything that's down here it's just mainly storage and extra stuff and like if I get new stuff I'll put it down here as well so yeah that's pretty much everything um, that's in my vanity right now um, but I hope to collect more stuff and have a bigger vanity soon but yeah that's literally everything that I can think of to show you guys um, I am going to show you guys real quick before I go my little wall art up at the top real quick so up at the top I just have my Insidious poster which is signed and I love this so much I got it at a horror convention and I've talked about it before in my other video. I think I mentioned it a little bit more in my other makeup collection. So I'm not going to talk too much about it. But yeah, it's signed. And I love it so much. I got it at a horror convention that's near me. Um, and I went there and I got to meet like some of the cast and stuff. And it was really awesome. And they told me like this was just when I think Insidious 2 was about to come out or it was like the previews were already out for it and I was talking to him and I said is there going to be an Insidious 3 and he was like he's like I'm not supposed to tell you but yeah there's going to be and I knew before like a ton of other people and I thought it was just so cool and I just I had like such a great day that day so then also that same day I got to meet Derek Mears who actually plays as um Jason in the newish Friday the 13th like he's in the newer one I forget what year it came out in um but he's not in like the OG Friday the 13th like he's like in the newer one and he's really awesome I loved him he's just so great he's so funny and uh, it just says Allie murder you soon uh, Derek Mears and then it says like in quotation Jason and then um, yeah I just really enjoyed that and I just it was like the best day of my life literally <laughs> um, so then over to the right I have my Carly Bible note which came with my palette and it's just really cute and I love it and I just keep it up there because I couldn't get rid of it and I just thought it was adorable and then down here I have this little like charm thing which is actually handmade that my boyfriend's mom got me at a festival and it reminded her of my cat Dexter because he's an orange tabby and it's just so cute and I thought it was adorable so I wanted to hang it up so I could see it every day and it's just too gorgeous and I didn't want to break or anything so I wanted it to be hung up because it is made out of glass and I just thought it was really really cute so he just hangs out up there along with all my other stuff so I'm hoping to add some more stuff up here as well soon but I just wanted to show you guys because I'm sure you guys are probably curious but yeah um, that is my little wall art so that is it for my makeup collection slash vanity tour guys I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time I will see you guys in my next one bye